Well, I would say if there's ever a Vegas outfit, I think you, I think you found it. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about it. it's fight week. What's the uh, what's the feeling? What's the excitement level coming in? Uh, I feel good, man. Like I just feel confident. Don't even really feel like uh, like I'm fighting this weekend. I just feel ready, prepared, happy. Is that attributed to a great? Camp. I mean, I, I know a lot of times fighters yeah. say, "Oh, it's the best camp ever," but you know, why? Why are you feeling so good? Uh, this one particularly. Yeah, um, mentally, just feel prepared. Physically, feel prepared. Everything's on point. Just no, no complaints. And I know you were supposed. It looks like you were you were supposed to fight uh, before the end of last year, but that that fight your opponent got rebooked. Was that frustrating for you, or were there? reasons why that you couldn't fight around that I mean, time it was definitely frustrating but yeah no i got covid so uh i had covid like two weeks before the fight yeah and had to pull out yeah was there any sort of lasting effects from that no nah, no nah, i mean it was hard to work out for a couple of weeks after but and i was fine all good 100 percent healthy and i know a lot of times you know since it's almost been been almost a year since last fight any any sort of ring rust any sort of just you know anticipation anxiety getting back in there nah i don't believe in ring rust i think it's false i think it's just a, a weak mental game so i feel no ring rust no no anxiety just confidence and then they give you the matchup for for jordan you know was this a guy uh that was on your radar and what was your initial thoughts when they they offered the matchup uh, i mean i was stoked you know um he's got a good name he's been in, uh in the press a little bit here and there so yeah it's a great matchup, I find, and I'm excited for it. In, unless my, my notes are wrong, second fight in a row at featherweight. Uh, how has that been for you, and is the cut hard or easy for you? Uh, last one was pretty easy. It was one of the easiest cuts I ever had. So, no, it's been, it's been great. Like, my nutrition's just dialed in, and I feel good. And this is, this is the division for you going forward? 100%, yeah. What's one of the biggest things that I guess that you noticed after you made the, the decision? Like, I guess, was it, did you just feel oh, overall yeah, better? Yeah, the biggest thing I noticed after I made the decision as I went back and looked at a bunch of pictures of, like, other fight camps, and I'd be like, man, I was chubby. <laughs> yeah. Did that did that translate into maybe less cardio than you maybe experience now? No, or? no just size disadvantage against yeah. certain opponents. Yeah. How does your power feel at this compared to? The Great. Yeah, ripping. Absolutely ripping. Feel great. Awesome. When looking at your opponent, you know, where, where's he dangerous and what sort of things are you expecting him to try to, to bring out on Saturday night? Um, I mean, he's aggressive, good counter shots, good kicks. Um, I, I, I just expect him to bring a fight, man. Like, I mean, I think he's got like Odin or some Viking tattooed on his throat. So it's like the dude is coming to bang and I'll meet him right there in the center. Is that the kind of fight that excites you more so than maybe a guy that, you know, tends to – work some long game submission skills you would you rather a guy mm. just wants to come out there and just no, they stand all, in the middle they all excite me because it's like different puzzles different things i have to solve they're like equations and i gotta like find the right numbers so yeah there's they're just different but they're all exciting so this outside of just the physical side of it you enjoy that that mental side of it which side do you i guess do you excite you the most knowing that you're going to get over there and outthink somebody or maybe just figure out their plan and, and outsmart them or do you like it better when you just go out there and just outmuscle somebody oh no outsmarting them for sure out muscling's like i don't know it, it's, i don't know it's like all the uh all the thinking's done before the fight I, I don't think when i fight i just i fight and i react on the fly and if so i change you, if i gotta change something in the fight i do it on the fly so you the kind that goes in, you let the fight work itself out in front of you as opposed to maybe going with a predetermined sort of game plan for him? Uh, no, I mean, there's always like somewhat of a game plan, but I, I wouldn't say I let my, I wouldn't I let it work itself out. I dictate what's going to happen. Awesome. Um, is it, is the goal to go out there and, and just get a win and keep moving yourself? You know, I guess I wouldn't, I would say shake off the rust, but you don't believe in the rust. Is it enough just to get in there and get active again? Or do you really want to go out there and make a statement, a statement to, yes. to, to re, I guess, re, Hey, I'm back type thing. Not even I'm back. It's like, I'm here and I'm coming. Would that be, which is better? Would you rather make a, does that mean knockout or is it even a submission or is it a knockout or nothing to make a statement coming back? 
domination. Doesn't matter. Decision, submission, knockout, doesn't matter. It's, it's going to be dominant from, bound to, from bell to bell. Looking towards the rest of 2022, I know you want to make up for some lost time maybe last year. What, what sort of goals are you setting for yourself this year? I just want to fight once or twice more this year probably. Make some money. Get a new contract. Get a number next to my name. That's it. How many fights do you have left on the contract right now? I think three. Okay. So, yeah. Fight two more. Get a new contract. All right. And then I guess lastly, keys to the victory. What needs to happen to make sure you get your arm raised on Saturday night? Mm. Just, just go out there and fight, man. Like I, I just honestly believe that I am a much better, more complete striker, wrestler, grappler, fighter, mentally, physically. I'm going to show up. I'm going to perform. And that's that. You're going to get groovy in there? Of course. <laughs> of course. Best of luck. Thanks, man. I just wanted to add for me, you were talking about the mental game. And when you first came in, uh, it was like um, you talk about if the post-fight stuff happens here as well. Is that kind of you visualizing your whole night on Saturday, going through the fight, going over to the Octagon over there, then coming back here and talking to us about the win? Is that kind of what goes through your head when you're... I mean, so when I got... When I'm done here, I go back to my hotel, I jump on a Zoom call with my sports psychologist, and we're going to visualize the entire fight day. We're going to visualize the, the, the weight cut, sitting in the bathtub, I'm going to visualize the walkout, my music, I'm going to touch the railings, I'm going to step in the cage, I'm going to visualize the entire fight, all the good parts, all the bad parts, everything, and then I'm going to visualize myself walking right up to here and talking to you guys. I, I know you've uh, fought over in that octagon before, but will you do another walk before the uh, night just to kind of refresh your memory about what it is to fight over there yeah i'm gonna go do that in a couple minutes <laughs> what's the music that you'll be listening to? uh i don't know i gave uh i gave the lady i gave heidi um four different songs i told her to pick one and whichever one it is don't tell me how long oh. have you used the sports psychologist Say again. how long have you used the sports psychologist uh we started working together after i fought your car close so we know it's much benefit to oh, yeah. uh, everything, like the mental game, the physical oh, yeah. game. Yeah, yeah it, started, it started out small, but then it's really compounded in interest in the last couple of years. Awesome. Thanks. Best Absolutely. of luck on Saturday. Thank you very much. So you gave four songs and you don't want to be the, the final say? You're going to nah. let, let fate? Sometimes to... I feel like, so when I walk out in the big arenas, like there's a certain song I walk out to. Yeah. But when I walk out here or like any other small arena, it's like um, the vibe is different a little bit. So... I don't want to know the song because I, if I know the song, then I'm expecting it to come on. It's probably not going to like put me in the same zone. But if I got four different songs, I don't know which one it's going to be. Like I'll be like, oh, shit, yeah, I like that song. Let's go. And it'll, it'll make me happy. It'll make me put me in a good place, and I'm excited. That's awesome. Now I have something else to look forward to. I hope they show your face because I'd like to see what your reaction is once yeah. you figure out what the song is. Well, they're all good. I mean, I like all the songs, so, yeah. I'll, it'll be happy regardless. Are you are you able to give us a clue, or you want to keep it a secret? The, well, the four. What, what what were the the four that you uh, that you offered up? I mean, basically all of them are either from like old school Tony Hawk skater games, oh, cool. Dave Mirror, or BMX Triple X. <laughs> so they're all like old school punk, except for one. Yeah. Best of luck. Thanks, bro.